name is Em and I'm a fan of Holly & Co. Cool stuff for pooches and peeps. Ooh, I got it right. Today's video is all about Percy and Albus. You guys asked and we delivered. So this is Albus <laughs> and this one's Percy. Um, we'll do the differences first and then we'll answer your questions that you asked. to go first would you Albus so this is Albertini um, he's different because he is a larger boy he's 3.2 kilos I think um, he also has creamish colored ears which Maltese are not meant to have that but he's holy dog oh, tired am I boring you oh. um, he has sort of brownish eyes <laughs> Percy it will be your turn in a minute. How rude. That's how you can tell the difference because Albus is quiet as well. Very quiet boy, aren't you? You're a good boy. Yes. Um, yes, so that is the difference. He's chunky boy and he doesn't really like modeling all that much. Percy, it's your turn. All right, well, it looks like Percy doesn't want to be in it. So it's going to be the Albus show today. So this is Percival. You may have heard him earlier. Uh, he is a little shit. He is 2.1 kilos, so much smaller than Albus, and he is pure white. He's just like his dad who was, or is, a show dog. Um, he's very agile, a little prick. He's very vocal. But we love you, don't we, P-Man? So that's the Varley man. Say hello. Oh, howdy. So that's the doggies. And that's the difference between them. Percy. Shut up. <laughs> so you guys ask questions, I'm gonna answer them as good as I can, and I will show you their wardrobe, which isn't really that exciting, but we'll show it anyway. So the first question is, we need to see a wardrobe tour in a minute. What's their go-to outfit? Their go-to outfits at the moment for when they're walking uh, are the reach for the sky harnesses and collars and leashes. And that's about it. They don't really wear anything else. They're naked pretty much all of the time, which is ironic, um, considering they're the directors of an accessory company. How does it feel being CEOs of a mega empire? Mm -mm -mm. There's only one CEO, and that is Queen Holly Doggins. We are directors, aren't ya? Directors of the board. Mwah. Director of Barking and director of Chimkin. Uh, no, Holly is the CEO, always has been, always will be. Next question, what's the sassiest thing each lad has done? Um, well, the first thing that comes to mind with Percy besides barking all the time um, is peeing on the curtains. He doesn't really do it anymore, but he used to pee on the curtains a lot. He does cock his leg to pee, which Albus does not. Um, so his would be peeing on the curtains. And Albus, uh, Albus did eat the carpet but he was a puppy, so we'll let that slide. Um, but also when he was a puppy, something else that comes to mind, uh, under the couch, there's a zipper and then it like goes up into the couch. I don't really know. Um, he, as a puppy, like eight weeks old, well, maybe a little bit older, he undid the zip on his own with his mouth, got up in under the couch. How did you do it? We don't know, but that would be the sassiest thing that he has done. He really wanted to escape, y'all. If the lads were celebrities, who would they be? Um, you know who they'd be? Come here. Besides Albus Dumbledore, who's not really a celebrity, Kevin Hart and Dwayne The Rock Johnson, because you have small man syndrome, and Kevin Hart has small man syndrome, so definitely. Hey. <laughs> right, well, we do the next question. Tell me how to be effortlessly cool like you boys. How? How is that possible? Oh, okay. Who is cheekier? Um, Percy, yeah. Albus is really quiet. He's hiding behind there at the moment. He's really quiet, doesn't make a peep ever. Um, Percy barks all the time at everything. He is an asshole, but we love you, don't we? <laughs> so you're cheekier. How old are the boys? They just turned one in November. So we are one years old. We were born on the 23rd of November, 
2020. Yes. Oi. So they're only just one, just over one. How do you tell them apart? I think I answered this before, but um, <laughs> I got him. So this one here is Alpwas, and this is the Varley Man. This is P Man. So this is the difference. They look kind of the same size in the camera, but as I said, Percy's 2.1 kilo and Albus is 3.2. And Albus is creamier because he's holly. Uh, and Percy's just like pure Maltese, pure white, show dog, agile, loud. And you're quiet, aren't you? Nah. So that's the difference. Who's your favorite? Okay, okay. Don't like this question. Um, I don't have favorites. Jan doesn't have favorites. Funnily enough, um, Albus, is actually my dog. I paid for Albus. And Percy is Jen's dog. So, you know, technically, please don't eat my things. Um, you know, Albus should be my favorite and Percy should be Jen's favorite. But we actually discussed this before and it's kind of the opposite. Not that we have favorites, because I love them both. But I have a soft spot for Percy and Jen has a soft spot for Albus. So we kind of swapped dogs a little bit. But I feel like we can say that. Because, yeah, Percy's not my dog, so I can say he's my favourite. Isn't that right, Albert? Yes. What the hell are you doing up there? <laughs> Percy's on top of the couch. Honestly, this boy. What's your favourite tree toe? Ooh. This is what I have to put up with all day, every day. So, favourite treats? Percival Bryan. Uh, Albus really likes dehydrated beef strip thingies. We used to make them for Holly. He really likes those. And Percy, he doesn't actually really like that much, to be honest. He's very picky. Um, he just likes popcorn. Plain old, good old popping corn, don't ya? When is your bark day? I think I said that before. We... 23rd. Of November. 2020. <laughs> so next question. Where did you get the boys from? We got them from a breeder who was originally from the mainland and then came to Tassie and basically just had the lads and then left again. So now she's back on the mainland. Um, and she breeds purebred Maltese and has been doing for a really long time. I'm actually gonna link her website down below and then you can see it's called Koopa Koopy Maltese. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Favorite quality of each boy? Um, nothing at the moment. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I like that Albus is nice and quiet and very calm and just chilled. And my favorite quality about Percival is not much. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, Percy really likes a good cuddle, so that's my favorite quality about him that he likes a good little cuddle and he's got a cheeky personality I guess what stands out as their most unique personality traits um, I don't know if barking is a personality trait but that's what stands out most about me um, to me about Percy I would say that Percy's quite hyper and energetic and really cheeky and then what stands out most unique for Albus is that he's literally Holly He's literally a reincarnation of Holly. Exactly the same. Does the same things. Right, so who is better at photo shoots, Albus or Percy? Percy! Percy likes to wear the glasses and all the stuff. He really loves the camera to be on him. Uh, Albus, not so much. Albus will, will do it for popcorn, but he doesn't like to do it. What are they driven by? Treats or love? Treats. <laughs> and do they ever act or remind you of Holly? Percy, no. Percy's literally the devil, uh, but... Albus, as I said before, is a reincarnation of Holly. He is exactly her. He does all the same things that she did and Percy doesn't. And they're from the same litter. Uh, hello, come here. This is Percival, so this question isn't about him, but um, you're not like Holly at all, are you? Because she was a good girl and <laughs> you're a dickwad. Oh. Um, yeah, so Albus is her. And I remember when we first got them, they went for their first haircut. Hello. And they went to the same place that Holly went to, the same haircutting lady. And Albus is really quiet, as I said. He doesn't make a peep. And Percy barks all the time. They were in the car, and Jan went in and spoke to Melinda and said, Hi, we're here for a haircut. 
and Percy couldn't have given two shits. And Albus, Albuccini, there he is. Oh my god. Hello, Albus. He went feral. He went crazy. His tail was like this. And he was making the weirdest screeching, screaming noise. And it was just like he'd seen her before and remembered who she was. So that was really creepy. And that's when I knew that it was Holly. And he just does everything that Holly does. Every mm. single little mm. thing that Holly ever used to do, Albus does it, Percy doesn't do it. It's so weird. Mm. Hey, and you look exactly like her, don't you? Mm. Hey, it's me. I'm back, but with a pee pee. <laughs> so yeah. Albuccini is Holly and then he just brought along Percy for the ride. He is all the bad things that Holly would have done like barking and stuff <laughs> in another dog and then he's the good stuff about Holly. You're a good boy aren't so, you? yeah, But we don't compare them to Holly because they're no. different doggies. And so let's go and show you their wardrobe. Woo woo woo! Hi. So this is the lad's wardrobe. I don't think it's very exciting and they don't actually have well they do have a lot of stuff, but compared to other Instagram dogs, they don't have a lot of stuff. Uh, and that's just because we can get stuff from the office whenever we feel like it. So that's why I don't have everything here because they don't need it. They don't need it. End of. Um, so we'll start up here. <laughs> this was for their first birthday. That crate just has all costumes and things in it that, I don't know, they don't really use or were kind of a waste of money, but hey, we live and we learn. Uh, and then there's a papoose that we don't use. Valentine's bow, Holly and Co original. And then we've got all their harnies. Um, the only ones that they really use, they used to use Rafiti every single day. Like that was their walking harness. Um, they also used to use Coraline for quite a while. And now they use Rich for the sky. So that's really all they ever wear. The other ones, meh, they kind of wear them for photos, I guess. Um, maybe if they like you know, went somewhere in public, <laughs> which we never take them in public. They're too naughty. Um, yeah, but that's it. Oh, and then we've got a couple of velvet ones. Um, we had these for photos, but unfortunately the extra small is too big for Percy. And it's not too big for Albus, but it is quite bulky. So I just don't really put velvet on them. I don't think it's appropriate for really tiny dogs. Um, and they do have a poo bag. I think there was something wrong with this. Uh, yeah as a whole so so they've got that they don't use it but it wasn't wasn't appropriate for sale so they've got that and just one velvet harness but that's their wardrobe color coded got to color code that shit so moving down this is a little bit more exciting so these are all the collar charms i give them one of each um and also we had the those as the samples when we were engraving them so they've got their best friends tags, kiss my fluff, barkaholic, which is Percy. And then I've put all their bows up on, well, most of their bows up on this. They also have a Dumbledore. <laughs> uh, so these are large as I think, but they're mostly just for photos. So I can, uh, Rafiti, the gingham, they had a red floral. Oh, this is the last one of this remaining and I have it. <coughs> Oops, um, holly floral. Two blue valves, two reach for the skies, Dumbledore, stand up. And they then have bandanas. Um, it used to look really nice and then they got too many. So Rafiti, reach for the sky, Albus and Percy. This was when we had an embroidery machine and then we decided, hey, we're not going to do that. <laughs> um, oh, um, Slytherin and Gryffindor ones that we made for them. Um, Albus is Slytherin. And Percy is Gryffindor. Um, to Coraline, I gave them these uh, slogan bandanas because they got a bit messed up when making them. Um, the R's coming off that one, so that's for them. Wednesday's wings, two pilly bandanas. These are very cute. I actually really like the style of these, how they're made, because you can tie them up super easy and they're not bulky, so props to Pilly for that. I think she was actually the first one to do that style, so I love that. And then they've got their boys, the labels, A and P. I love these two. I need to do more photos with them because they're amazing. And then they've got glasses. So they're Percy and Elvis glasses that we made. Uh, two leopard ones. They wear these ones pretty much all the time. I think they sit the best. And then the Harry Potter ones and the rose gold and the green and the rainbow and purple. and uh, They've got basically everything. And obviously the 
straps. I need to get more glasses straps. Best thing ever if any of you are wondering how they keep their glasses on for photos. The bloody strap. And then I have these. I got these off of a shop on Etsy. If I remember, I will link it below. Very dirty. But uh, Albus says he's microchipped. Um, I won't show the back because it's got an address and phone numbers on it. But there's an Albus one in rose gold. And a Percy one in rose gold. So I thought they were really cute. So if we ever go out anywhere, I'll actually put them on them. But as I said, they don't really go anywhere so they don't need it. Moving down here, oh, let me just bend down properly. So I don't have all the matching leashes for all the harnesses because once again, I don't think that they need them. It's just a waste. Um, but they do have two Christmas velvets, two green velvets, snags. We don't even have snags anymore, but they got them. Um, two Caroline, they used to use that a lot, and two Rafiti, which they use a lot. It's actually a bit dirty. And then I've put all the collars on them. And we put P and A in them to know who's who. Caroline, yada, yada, yada. Um, once again, velvet's kind of big. Ah, the green velvet actually, I just noticed, has bows on them. So I have green bows. So I've moved that out of the way. Under here, um, this is going to be really hard to show. I'm going to have to get it all out, I guess. But just imagine, there's two of everything, of course, when you've got two dogs. So this is from Eye of Dog. We love this brand so much. Uh, these were for Christmas. We'll probably use them again for something else. So there's two of those, obviously. Um, there's only one of these here. I don't know where the other one is, but these are for the lads in winter because they get a little bit cold. You can hear Percy barking in the background. Does that surprise you? No. These, let me show you. Mario and Luigi hats. I put them on the other day. These are from an Etsy seller as well. Once again, if I remember, I will put it below. Two Kmart backpacks. Holly had those as well. They don't use them, but they're cute. Um, Eye of Dog t-shirts again. For anyone wondering, Albus wears, this is an Albus one, he wears an extra, extra small, and Percy wears an extra, extra, extra small, so 3XS and 2XS, um, so they've got them, these are from Fuzz Yard, they're both size 1, size 1's actually a little bit tight on Albus, but we make do because they are only for photos, I love the Fuzz Yard shirts, they're my fave. So we have two shark ones. These are made by Jen. Jen Originals, our loungewear in the dyno. Once again, don't really ever wear them, but they're there. Oh my God, these, the Moto jackets from Eye of Dog, once again. So bloody cute and tiny. Um, these ones, they're exactly the same, but different sizes from Eye of Dog. And Fuzz Yard, size one. Hawaiian shirt. These ones are super cute too. So put those all back. I am thinking of coming up with a better solution for all this stuff, but I don't know. At this stage, I don't really care much. I'm not a psycho dog mom bitcher, so I don't really care. Um, moving over into the corner. Actually, I'll do this. These are two pilly bandanas, but this were for when they were puppies and they never ended up wearing them because they were eating them. And now that they're, you know, good models mostly, they're too small, so they bloody tiny pilly bandanas. So cute though. Um, pilly bow ties. I can finally wear these. So cute. And by the way, Pilly was the first to do the pombo because I gave her the idea. So just saying. Um, and then these ones, I love these ones. Once again, from Eye of Dog. These ones are super lightweight too. I love them. They have three pairs of Crocs. Do not wear them, but I just had it in my mind that it would be funny to have them in TikToks or something, but I don't know, whatever. Um, these were for their first birthday. These are by Hankin Friends, I believe is what the brand's called. I'll link them below. Love the quality of this. So, so good. These ones were for Christmas, and these are from Bloom. Babes in Bloom, they're called. Um... These are super cute and really well made, don't get me wrong. But the lads, I don't know what it is. Maybe their fur is really slippery. But this, because it's quite flat and slippery, it kept falling off their heads. We did end up getting a photo with it. But um, where is that? Because it's hollow. They could sort of like, you know, have that on their head. But these ones fell off, which was disappointing. So I kind of want to cut this base out. But then I don't want to ruin it because it's so pretty. But... 
Babes in Bloom, she's such a lovely person and her crowns are so cute. We then got little pumpkin heads they were meant to wear for Halloween, but they're a bit big for them, so I'm gonna have to try and sort that out before next Halloween. And these, let's just talk about these. I'll get one out to show you. How freaking amazing is this? These were custom made yeah, to fit Albus and Percy by the absolutely lovely Boston Hound Co. She is such a sweetheart and she made these for them. And look at them. See, that's hollow, so it fits a bit better, but they're quite heavy. Uh, but seriously, like the detail, the price that I put, I don't know how much they were. I feel like they were $60 maybe or $80 each, which a lot of people are going to be like, that's insane. But the attention to detail, like this is handcrafted. This entire thing was made from scratch. It's absolutely insane. I could never. So the lads have those because they're kings. Oh, and I forgot to go through these things actually. Not that they're that exciting. So Kmart raincoats. We don't care. Um, who are these by? Bond, Bond & Co. I don't know if that's the brand. Um, that just fell off. But they're little um, Sherpa jackets for winter. These were from Kmart, little puffer jackets. They fell off. Um, Santa costumes from Kmart. And then Toy Story costumes from Catch the Day, which we have exciting news coming up about Catch of the Day soon. Their entire wardrobe, as I said, it's not really that exciting, but we can just go into the office and get anything that we want ever. So that's all.